welcome to Brandy and Dave. I'm Brandy and I'm here today to show you how to make the bride do-it-yourself ears for wearing around Disney World. So I have a friend who is getting married and she is having her bachelorette party at Disney World. How cool is that? So she asked me to make her some ears. Um, so many of you asked how I make these ears. So I thought, well, while I'm making them for my friend, maybe I can make them and show you guys too how I did this. Obviously this one's for a bride, but if you just want it all white, like it matches a bunch of stuff, and you can add as many or as little flowers as you want. This does have a lot on it, but I want her to really stand out because it's extra special for her trip. Just keep watching if you're interested to see how I make these. Take a second and Subscribe to our channel if you don't already because we have so many wonderful things that have to do with Disney and Disney adventures that we love to share with you guys. And what kind of ears would you like to see me make besides these? A lot of you commented on some of our videos that you really liked the ears that I had made. So um, let me know what other kind of ears you want to see me make. Also, if you're interested in getting some of these ears because you don't want to take the time to make them, check out Brandy and Dave on Etsy. So before we get started, a couple things. One, as always in our videos, if you hear a chomping sound, it's Winston. He's in here again. Once we get out the camera, he grabs his bone and comes and hangs out. So he might be in the videos. Um, I just use a hot glue gun with lots of glue. I have it ready to go. I have glue sticks ready. Um, I also, whenever I'm using glue, I always have some cold water ready in case I accidentally get some on my fingers so I can just get it to cool off really fast so I can get it off of there. Um, the wire I use currently is a floral wire. I just get this at uh, Michael's. I am looking for something that's a little bit stronger. This is 12 gauge is what I'm using here. And I'm using gold today. Sometimes I'll use silver. Uh, I have just a simple headband covered in satin. Now, if you want a wider headband that's stronger, go for it. Any headband really is fine. Um, I'm very careful with my ears. So if you're careful with them, this is good. And these are really light. It's not like the ones that like clamp your head and, um, they hurt a lot but if you want something wider that's a little bit sturdier go for it because you're covering this all up so whatever you want um, and then I have abundance of flowers and I'm not gonna use all of these flowers but I can never decide what I want to use so I just get lots of different types and then I put them together and see um, how it turns out I also get flowers like this too that's just the top part Sometimes I glue these on pull in the package flowers like that. Um, and one more thing I'm trying today, usually I only use the hot glue, but I did get some floral tape as well. I'm going to just secure the parts of the ears um, and just cover them a little bit better. Since these ears are not for me, I wanna make sure that I have it nice and secure for, for my friend. So, all right. First thing I have to do is shape the wire. So I have my headband ready, my glue gun's heating up. I need to shape this wire. And to shape it, you really just need to figure out how big do you want those ears. So for me, I really don't like my ears to be over the top. I want them to look beautiful, but I don't want like the in your face giant Mickey ears. But what I do is I just get, we have this Yeti cup. <laughs> Sorry, Dave, I'm using your stuff for crafts. <laughs> this little tumbler. And it's actually the size, like the wire's pretty much the size, but whenever you're taking it out of, out of here, you need to shape it a little bit. So I use this as my guide. I don't have any specific measurements. Um, really, it's just how much I think I need. So I go around the ear, which I'll show you here in a minute, and leave some space. So at this point, I take wire and I wrap it around. Oops. I wrap it around this cup. And then when I get to the end, leaving about two inches, I just do a simple bend out this way because this is the part that's going to go on my headband. And then I come across the other side, getting close to that point, and then I bend it there 
there as well. All right, once that's done, now it will need straightened up a little bit, but you can see that I have like just a nice shape around. And I take my wire cutters using this section right here and just simply, well, maybe simply, there, just simply cut that off. And there, I have that. So then I do that for all of my shapes. I'm gonna do this just a few more times to get my other ears. hot glue that's kind of like spider webs clean that up um, at this point this is where I'm going to wrap the floral wire around and then I'm going to wrap ribbon around to cover this all up and some of you it might be neater some of you it might be messier um, it's just a learning curve with these so um, it depends what you want to want but and then you can always if your ears look a little off you can always fix them too, it's good to just give them a little try on and see what you think you know are they crooked or or what but um, so next I'm gonna wrap this up with the floral wire quickly I already have my glue in place and also what I do if my wire seems to be not bending properly uh, like you saw in the video I'll just take this and simply just pinch this down onto my headband not too tight though so let's get the floral wire out. It is like sticky and grippy in those little areas there. So I'm just doing a little bit of an extra secure, securing these ears. And like I said, I am going to also have um, ribbon wrapped around this. So we'll just going over it. I have the hot glue covering the little metal edges as well. Um, we don't want anyone getting poked with these little things. So just going ahead and pulling this tight and it's pretty neat, it just sticks to each other. So I have that all wrapped up. I'm gonna do the same to the other side and then we're gonna move on to the ribbon. All right, so I have my floral wire wrapped around my ears here. And next what I'm gonna do is wrap ribbon around. So I just have whatever color of ribbon you want. I like to choose gold or silver um, to match what other color of the ears because these actually blend really well into your hair. So if you have your hair, well, so when you have your hair pulled back, it blends in and it doesn't stick out as much. Now, if you want a more vibrant color, go ahead and use, you know, pink or whatever color your ears are going to be to make it stick out just a little bit more. But I'm using gold today, so I'm just gonna start at the bottom and wrap it around. And I'll show you how I do that here in just a second. Now, while I'm making this, if you wanna take a moment, give us a like if you're enjoying the video so far. And make sure you hit subscribe to our channel because we have so many wonderful Disney adventures we like to share with you and so many other things around Disney that we do videos about. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you wanna know whenever our latest video is out, hit that notification bell too, and you'll be alerted whenever we have another video. Um, so let's put this on here. I'm simply 
continuing to hot glue and wrap the ribbon around the ears to cover up um, all of this part up above. So I'll just put a little bit of hot glue and then I just make sure I keep my ribbon tight and I overlap it. Um, I did start on one side and then got part way and then started on the other side. Sometimes though, depending on, I guess if I'm paying attention, I will start on one side and go the whole way across. Um, I get enough ribbon so that I have some extra um, at the end if I need it. Now, depending on the kind of headband you use, that could make a difference. And the size of ribbon, um, that also could make a difference how much ribbon you actually need. So uh, for this, I'm not giving you a precise measurement because every pair of ears depends on those factors. So I'm just wrapping this around and when I get here, I'm just going inside the ear. Be careful not to drag your ribbon through that hot glue. All right, and just do the glue in small segments. Don't get too crazy because by the time you get there, it might actually dry up a little bit. So you don't want that to happen. Now, if you notice here, I have my hot glue gun. This is just a simple like $3.99 hot glue gun. Um, I keep it on a plate so that way I'm not burning anything around because if I spill glue on it, it will just peel right off. So I'm just gonna continue with the ribbon around ears here. If you're worried about the lumps and bumps up top, don't worry about that because whenever we have our flowers, that's going to just cover all that up. So we're good. I'm trying to make sure that I'm overlapping the ribbon as well. Pulling it tight there. And I've only used one glow stick, one glow stick, it's a dance party, one glue stick so far. So it doesn't take a ton of them for this part. Now when I'm adding the flowers, I do add extra glue. If you have any ripples, just pull it. And once again, like I said, the flowers are gonna cover this part, so don't worry about the little lumps and bumps. overlap to the other side um, wherever you had finished up your ribbon just make sure you get enough glue in there to secure it and then I'm going to trim this um, and I'm actually trimming it so the ribbon will come back up to the top side so when I place a flower there I can hide hide that little end so make sure Get that all glued together. Check for any little loose spots and you can glue those a little bit better as well. So I'm going to just use my tools. So you don't want to pinch it with your fingers because then you'll burn them. So at this point it's cleaning up the ears and then it'll be time to add the flowers for the bridal ears. Okay, so now that I have finished the ears, I have the ribbon wrapped around them. Now it's time for the fun part, which is decorating with the flowers. Now you can do this however you want. What I like to do, I, like I said before, I pick lots of different types of flowers and that way I can mix them together. Hi, Lindsay, you gonna make flowers too? So I can mix them together and put them on my ears and then I cut them out first. I go through, which I'll show you, and then I also do the back because um, I just, I like to do both sides of the ears. I think they look nice. Something else I do is I kind of make them off to the side. I do not do it very symmetrical. Um, I just feel that 
I like the look of them off to the side a little more than the whole way around. So you'll see what I mean here in a little bit. I'm so excited to make these for my friend. I hope she loves them, but let's get started adding the flowers. So any type of flowers are good. You can get flowers from your local craft store, um, Michaels, Joanne Fabrics, Hobby Lobby, even you could just find flowers at Walmart or I've even gotten them before from the Dollar Tree, depending what you want. Now I like to get mine from Michaels. Um, these were actually on sale, which is good, but I'm going to go through, I'm going to leave a little bit of the stem on there. That way I have a little bit of something to attach. Um, and sometimes I use leaves, sometimes I don't. It just depends on what I'm, what I'm into. So I'm liking these white roses here, and then I have some of these uh, here. It doesn't say what, what they are, but they reminded me of, I think they're supposed to be Stephanotis, and then they have a little sparkle. I think those are super pretty. Um, and then I have just some of these other flowers. I really wanna just mix this up and get a lot of beautiful white flowers on on this set of ears because they are special because they're for a bride and just adding these extra flowers and different types will um, just add some depth to it too and some interest. So let's get started on adding the flowers. This is my absolute favorite part of making ears. I can't wait. I'm just using scissors to cut off some of the roses here. Um, if it's some of your heavier flowers, hi buddy. If it's some of your heavier flowers, then having a pair of wire cutters works really well because it's much easier to cut with this and then you're not dulling your shears. So, oh, these are pretty. I wish they smelled good, but they don't. We can pretend, right? Spray them with perfume. No, don't do that or the bugs will be after you. Winston, you can't have these flowers. Sorry, buddy. So once I've laid out the flowers and how I want them, then what I do is I go back through and start to glue them on in the spots that I would like them.